Hey, this is Jason Kincaid for TechCrunch TV. You can't tell right now because it's pouring rain outside, but we're currently in the heart of Brooklyn, New York. That's right, we made it out of California and we've got a series of cool startups coming along straight from New York. And right now we're in a cool building that is a little nondescript as we'll see in a little bit, but it's got one very cool startup inside called Etsy. So we're gonna check out what they've got going on. And one interesting note, I didn't actually sleep last night thanks to Delta Airlines in the middle seat of a red eye, but I'm hardcore, so we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's do this. Now we're in a foreboding hallway in the building that Etsy is located in, but behind this door that he so nicely opened for us, thank you, I think we've got, look how nice and homey it is now. Hello! Nice to meet you. So this is Sarah, the office manager, and she's going to give us a tour of Etsy, which as far as I can tell is one of the most unique and, I mean, they have so much cool stuff just everywhere, which isn't that surprising even though it's Etsy, but all right, so let's see what you guys have. All right, come on in. I know a significant amount, but maybe uh, not a lot. That's great, because we are an <laughs> online marketplace for handmade and vintage goods, as well as supplies. And our whole goal is to really get people to be connected to the seller, to the person who's making everything that we get. Basically, so, if you want something unique and doesn't look like it was from Ikea, go to Etsy. The office here, we actually really have worked hard to make sure that we practice what we preach, uh, that the items that we have in the office really show that connection that we have to the community. I feel like I'm so easily distracted right now. Hi. There's like a polar bear <laughs> on a, what is that, like a, an owl? He's either an owl or a bean, depending on what story you hear, and that which is coming out of his head is his consciousness. And occasionally one of the dogs that we have here, Milo, he sleeps in the consciousness. So I can see why it looks very comfortable. Yeah. Mm. We have these phone rooms that were created by a, a shop called Zugu. And this is the sort of Alice in Wonderland, crazy, fun, um, you know, office environment. The villain's phone room, which actually, let me just, this is another one that was made by Zugu. Oops, there you go. Like we have all the, the tools you might need. Radiant Force matter. field pills. All right. There you go. I don't know. It's You're fine. There you go. And then I don't know what this looks like. I wish this happened every tour. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the most unintimidating laser gun I've ever seen. <laughs> really, I could imagine myself just running around being like, ah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I got the microphone. Zap, right? <laughs> yes. OK, I think we've had enough. <laughs> All of the uh, all the conference rooms are named after uh, music meets food, which was this whole thing. We we all gave like 250 names we came up with and then voted on them. So that was Soy Division, Lil Kimchi, Slayer Cake. We have Wu Tang clams as well. So this one's totally blacked all, out. All, it's all blacked out except there are lots of little doors where you can actually. Each one has something in it. Like a brain. In case you go crazy and you need a brain. Just in case. Because you're working so hard. Yeah. When PR people call me all the time. I yeah, can see this happening. <laughs> when you get when you start working here at Etsy, um, everyone gets a lab coat because we have a lab upstairs um, in a separate floor where people can go and craft and make things. Is it like a wood shop kind of thing? We um, not a wood shop, but you also see that we have down here. We have a labs where we can make our promo items, uh, like letter pressing and uh, screen printing. But also, you, you never know when you might need the lab coat, and it makes us feel really. I own one myself. Like and the goggles. Yeah. Oh, nice. The goggles are a nice. Touch. I use that when I'm cleaning <laughs> dishes. That's not actually true anymore. I used to. Junk Prince made this wall of record, which is my favorite kind of thing actually here because every time I walk by, I see a different album that I'd never seen before. We actively look for the stuff for our office. Um, every now and then someone will say, hey, I'd love to make something. And you know, we, we did commission this particular piece for specifically. But um, we do have these wonderful moments where we'll all sort of send our ideas and we'll, everyone will pool their ideas and we'll decide on items that we'll buy for the office. And one of the first items actually that we did that with was that wonderful octopus arm by a seller named uh, Art Akimbo is the name of the shop. And um, we, so that sort of started us going when we first got in here, which is really fun. That's very awesome. <laughs> and then it reminds me of taken off from there. <laughs> 
So this is your meeting room, or one of them? It's one of them. It's technically not one of the ones with the cool names. It's like I want to pull out an easel and start doodling or exactly. something. And it did used to be where we would have craft night, because we have something called craft night that's for every uh, once a week. It's open to the public. It's free. Oh, awesome. Everyone can come in and make a certain specific craft that's led by a, certain, by a teacher. It's really quiet in here. <laughs> this is where the actual work happens. This is where everybody works. When people start working here, they get a $100 budget to spend on Etsy to actually buy fun things for their desks. So it's worth looking around and seeing if anyone has anything super exciting. Are, are many of the employees here active sellers on the site? Uh, we do have a lot of them, yeah. A lot of people are sellers here. This mural here, we worked with the artist, her name's Maya Hayek, over a course of, I think it was two weekends. A lot of people from the community came in and helped paint everything, so it was really a big, a big effort. It's very bright, keeps everyone awake. You know, sometimes we'll turn the air conditioning on really high instead, but this, this will do it as well. Yay. It's like, look at the wall. You're not working hard enough. <laughs> I, I noticed that a lot of the desks obviously have a, a ton of cool things on them. Do people have, is there a, a competition going on as far as who has the coolest stuff? I definitely think so. There's definitely like an unspoken competition <laughs> all around. If you hear some snickering around us. Really so cool. Like, yeah. like, no, no. But especially, I have to say, this team, the blog team, has some pretty amazing items. Um, I'm a big fan of this hand. <laughs> and then there's a, a certain mug over here. That could be lifted up. Uh -huh. That's so Can cool. Can you see that? Like <laughs> how even your air duct is multicolored. Well, that's the next. This is the most recent sort of large installation that we have. Nita Please came in and made this amazing installation of yarn bombing. It's an example of yarn bombing. If you've heard of that, now you'll know. Now I know. <laughs> So this... Can you actually ride this? You can't really. Oh. It will roll forward. Heartbreaking. You'd definitely kill yourself if you tried, or you'd hurt yourself. But you'd go out in a really big bang. Yeah, that would be awesome. It would be very no loud. No would know how to untangle you from, from, from the disaster. And then I like this piece. Oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. Hard drive platters. Exactly. So are these all drives that were used previously, like Etsy servers, or? No. Oh, we, that would be awesome. This was something that we did get off of the site, I will say. Um, again, it's part of the whole push for every time, like we'll just decide that we will send ideas of, hey, we think this would be great for the office, and then we end up with cool stuff like this. We have to find a home for it. <laughs> we have our, I forgot about Coffee Oh, wow, man. this is awesome. Yeah. Coffee Man, actually. He'd been, he's something that we'd had our eye on for a little while and then finally decided to get him. But he's actually gone through a lot, like for Halloween, he was dressed as a, like a zombie. Um, he's had full clothing on before. And then currently he's, what he's supposed to be is of course a coffee drinker, but he's also- I, The laser security. gun. Yeah. So the quilt, we have something called teams on Etsy where people can come together. There are several quilting ones and there's one that's called the Quiltsy Team. And we commissioned for them, when we were moving into this office, we commissioned for them to make these for us, the Etsy, and there's a .com one over there. Um, and on the back of each one are the names of the different people that worked on each quilt. Yeah, we bring them everywhere. <laughs> any crafts, uh, things that we do, any shows. <laughs> oh, this, so this is, is cool. Wu-Tang Clams, which we love this room. It is so comfortable. It's like grandma's grandma's living room, and pretty much everything. If it's not from Etsy, it's from a flea market. We just wanted to keep it. You know, everything needed to have that feel. But we also this is the room where we have. Oh, there is our banjo. I don't know if you play banjo. Uh, I've tried once. Okay. Uh, banjo. We have a guitar, but it's out for repair. Um, I have an accordion. Um, I can play heart and soul things. on piano. Ah. But both parts at the same time. You're welcome. Yeah. To it. I'm not going to do that now. You could. Okay, but you'd have, to, you'd have to wear a bear costume while you did it as well. Actually, wait. Is that like one of the rules? It is now. All right. <laughs> I used to know how to do that. It's been a while. <laughs>
Anyway, I'm taking this off now. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for showing us around your office. It's eclectic and, and awesome. I and mean, you have so much cool stuff around here. I feel like I could just spend so much time just checking out all the cool paintings and villains' costumes and everything. So thanks again. Thank you for coming. Yay.